good morning so it's tuesday it's the first of september um, just following on from my um, last vlog that i did about food addiction i just want to say thanks ever so much to everybody who contact me uh privately um to say that they struggled with the same thing and they and they found that me talking about it had actually helped them um come to terms with it and um realize that probably like me they're always going to have to struggle with what they eat and um just really just try and battle through it and hope for a sunnier day and hope that you get your determination back to um, following a healthy eating plan which is not easy as I said because it's taken me over a year to get back onto my healthy eating plan and at the moment things are going really well but round the corner it could all go belly up again so um, today I just want to talk about um, binging and my experience of binging um, for me Binging can be triggered by anything. Um, generally speaking, it's emotional. Sometimes it's if I've got on the scales and um, the scales basically don't say what I want them to say, which sometimes, even though we shouldn't do it, we tend to jump on the scales a bit more often than we should. And when we haven't lost any weight or we've stayed the same and we think, well, hang on, I've been really good for like five days or seven days or whatever it was, and the weight's just not come off, you get really disheartened. And for me, that can trigger um, a binge. And for me, uh, binging is about eating whatever I want. It normally involves quite a lot of quantities. Um, one of my um, fairly memorable uh, binges was uh, when Nick was away overnight. I don't know what it was. I was just bored or fed up or whatever it was. And I walked um, along a very busy road, which hasn't got any uh, sidewalks or pathways, uh, to a garage. So it took my life in my hands, literally. Bought um, a big bag of chocolate and various other things. I can't even remember, but I think it involved bread and um, crisps or chips, as you call them in the, in the US. Um, loads of chocolate, whatever they had on offer. I, I, you know, I like the multi-packs where you get four or five, six bars. Um, and I must have spent 10, 15 pounds and then got, went home and ate the whole lot. And that's the sort of thing I do. And then you have this awful guilt feeling. All this guilt washes over you. You think, oh my God, what have I done? And you feel sick as well. And for me, with my gluten intolerance, I really do feel sick. And I get stomach cramps and I get upset stomach and everything else. So for me, it's total guilt and feeling ill at the same time. But does it stop me? No, it doesn't because I know I'm a binger and as I said before, um, celebrations, holidays can normally trigger a uh, binge in action in me because I think to myself, oh well I'm going to have a bad day anyway because I'm going to this party or we're going to be eating here or we're going to be doing that, we're going out with friends, so therefore the day's ruined and I might as well blow it in a big way. And that's just the way I feel up here and it, as I said before, it doesn't make any sense at all but it's just the way I um, have this very bad relationship with food, um, either really, really bad or really, really good, and very rarely down the middle. Um, so that's all I want to talk about today, food binging. Let me know either, again, privately, if you'd rather private message me, I'm quite happy with that. Um, you can follow the links uh, on my YouTube, YouTube, YouTube channel. Uh, that's not easy to say, YouTube channel. Um, or you can leave some comments below and um, I will reply to them. Um, and let me know how you're doing. As I said at the moment, 1st of September, it's going, still going really well for me. We've just had a, a bank holiday weekend or a holiday weekend. So I said today's Tuesday, we had Monday off yesterday. Um, not for any specific holiday. I know in America you have various sort of high days and holidays you know and they're named specifically named in the UK we don't do that we just call them bank holidays and you get the day off so it's a bit boring from from that uh, point of view I think we really should have uh, you know Queen's birthday holidays and Wellington day and stuff like that anyway that's my opinion they're just called boring bank holidays and frighteningly enough the next bank holiday is Christmas da, da, da. so if you're struggling with your weight at the moment just think there's about four, four and a bit months till um, Christmas. No, four, four months, less than four months, isn't it? First September, October, yeah. So um, you really want to get 
under control now because we all know at Christmas that we're going to put some weight on and it's not going to be pretty. Even though we, at this stage we're all saying, oh, I'm going to be good at Christmas. I'm not going to eat too much at Christmas. I'm going to, you know, rein it in a little bit. We all know that as soon as Christmas has come, it will be like, ah, let's eat, let's eat, let's eat. So try and get a little bit of weight off now because it will make you feel so much better when Christmas comes around. You can have a bit of a good old nosh up and not feel too guilty. Um, and as I said, I'll hopefully see you in about 10 days or so. As soon as my monthly cycle's finished, I shall um, wait a couple of days and then I shall weigh myself and I shall post the results as soon as I can. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you're all well. Take care, everybody. Be good. Bye.